And in Pekin, they're hoping to bring light to its role that the city played in helping free an enslaved woman. Led by a young Abraham Lincoln, Nancy Leggins Costley would become a free woman. As Brett Brooks reports, the city of Pekin just approved $8,000 to generate a new memorial to recognize her and her son. May not look like much yet, but by Juneteenth of this year, this wall is going to be filled with two historical markers dedicated to Nancy Leggins Costley and her son, William Costley. The city of Pekin is honoring two of its hidden figures in history. When they walk past, they'll see the placard uh, facing the uh, sidewalk so that people capture that captures their attention. And then when they come around, they'll be able to see the bronze markers and they'll be able to read more historical context into what role these two played in our community. Nancy Leggins Costley was the very first person a young Abraham Lincoln helped free from enslavement. As a lawyer, he fought for her in front of the Illinois Supreme Court. So historians believe Nancy's case laid down the foundation for Lincoln to later become the abolitionist and free all those enslaved two decades later. It doesn't erase what's happened in the past. But we also don't want to forget what's happened in the past. And so I look at this as an opportunity for us to show that we have moved beyond that and we do care about our history and our citizens and the people that help make Pekin what it is today. Mayor Pro Tem Becky Cloy says despite Pekin's reputation for prejudice, she hopes by creating this memorial site for Nancy Leggins and her son William Costley, it will bring to light a change for the community. The stone monuments and the two markers on the building behind me are already paid for thanks to a private donation and a grant. They should be ready to be unveiled to the public by Juneteenth of this year. Reporting in downtown Pekin's Pocket Park, I'm Brett Brooks for 25 News.